because Othello is a very intimate tragedy, uh, and we're, we are doing it outside in the Glen, we really wanted to push the action of the play into the laps of the audiences. It's all downstage. It, visually, it's very complicated. It's, you know, I think it, you could say it, it's as influenced by Louise Nevelson's work as it is by M.C. Escher. There is something almost film noir about it. Uh, there are, are so many scenes in this play that occur at night and there is this sort of this sense of, you know, the voice out of the darkness that then steps into light. And so we um, are, are really want to create, as, as the sun has gone down, create these opportunities to have shafts of light that people can step through, be seen for a moment and then disappear. In approaching the lighting, Pam really wanted it to be sort of a small domestic story. Um, well, she wanted to, she felt like there were a lot of scenes that took place between two people and it should never be too broad or too, too wide open. And that also, as Iago's machinations become more and more apparent and you're sort of drawn into the, the tragedy of it, that, that uh, you know, the lighting should also sort of suck down into this, uh, into this world. So at the end, Othello's just in this tight, locked room. Hard in hand comes the master and main exercise, the incorporate conclusion. We really didn't want to set it in a historic time because we wanted to make it very immediate to the audience. So that's how we came to that. And just rather than invent a uniform, you know, when the audience looks at a modern Navy uniform, they know what those people are, they know who they are, they know when they see a captain, he's got certain insignia, and they know when a guy has a lot of uh, ribbons, he's done a lot of war, he's been in a lot of combat, he's, won, he's valiant. They know if they see just one little bar that maybe that guy hasn't done so much. So there's all these things which help me uh, illustrate the character within that. From my end, um, uh, an audience member might take away in Othello music that cuts across different uh, eras. We're, I plan on definitely using some modern music uh, or creating some modern music. Uh, utilizing uh, you know instruments that we might be uh, heard on the radio today, anything from rock guitars, drums to basses, uh, layered that with some uh, atmospheric underscores, some synthetic sounds that we might not hear, and then interweave that with an orchestral element um, to to bring that all together. Oh! 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 <laughs> Bells, whistles, and smoke and mirrors does not exist when you're working outside. So you really have to, it boils down to a whole lot, to the simple truths of doing theater, which, which are about telling a story and telling it well. It is engendered. Hell and night must bring this monster's birth to the world's life. 